We were studying stress for a while and we measure stress in the lab and specifically cortisol. And the testing we do there is usually through blood samples. It's a complicated way to test for cortisol levels. So we are looking for a faster, less invasive way to measure cortisol. The new film literature is quite a strong correlation between the stress level and uh, blood cortisol level. But uh, quite new, last maybe five years, uh, we kind of researcher realized that there is also a correlation between sweat. But the challenge has been always to how collect the sweat. And what we have done in this project actually, we developed a technology that can reliably collect sweat without having evaporation and the preserve concentration of these molecules. So the device, it's placed on the skin. It has microfluidic channels that wick the sweat into the device and along a sensing channel where there's a sensor laid over the top there. Now the sensor has antibodies to cortisol on it and as the sweat goes over there, the cortisol binds to these antibodies and through the binding you can then measure the concentration of cortisol in the sweat sample. There are several other biomarkers that can be found in sweat uh, that can be useful for other problems or other illnesses. Uh, for example, the concussion, which is an ongoing project right now. Cortisol may be playing a large role in the long-term effects of concussion and actually inhibiting the healing process. So if we can figure out a way to help this process go along by measuring cortisol, then we can really make a difference in people's lives. We are really pushing this one for uh, regulatory aspects, making sure it meets the requirement of quality assurance and also meet the human performance factor, right? How comfortable people are to use that device and how we can quickly adapt it to meet that requirement.